racing almost every weekend. Definitely got to check it out. Go to ParisAutoSpeedway.com. ParisAutoSpeedway.com. Hey, we got Will Brown on the line. Hey, Will, how's it going? Hi, how's it going? Can you hear me? I hear sure. Yep. Yeah, you sound like you're at a racetrack. Oh, 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 not quite. Is, <laughs> is the quality all right? Can you hear me good? Absolutely. Sounds great. Sounds great. 18 okay. years old. Not doing, man, you've been racing a while too, huh? Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'll tell you what. You're just talking to a, a glorified race fan right here. I am, I'm just the biggest fan of racing, and I'm just lucky to, uh, to do what I do. <laughs> yeah, well, now that you open that door up, who helps you get in the car? Got any sponsors? Uh, Mom and dad? Yeah, well, so uh, my dad works on the car. You know, we, we work on it together, but I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to do it without him. Um, you know, I'm super super fortunate to to uh, have his his help on it. I mean, I, I I wouldn't be doing it without him. You know, we we've been together since go karts and yeah. and um, yeah, he's he's awesome. He's he's my crew chief all the way. But um, yeah, as far as sponsors, uh, I would like to thank Pacific Panel, uh, Tucker Tire, and Blanco Homes, uh, and Alfred's Distributing. But um, yeah, they all they all help me out and and, and let me uh, go racing on the weekend. So yeah. all right, so Monday, go get a food sponsor. You got to get a sandwich shop. You got to get a taco yeah. shop. He always brings it up, but it's always good advice. It's always good advice. Yeah. Can you imagine if they come to the race, they cater your pits man you'd be the top of the you'd be the talk of the town oh yeah absolutely that i, I think uh i think that would do well actually yeah <laughs> you know what? let me let me let me think about that real quick yeah okay. right yeah that you won't have to think about it more than one or two minutes yeah. so yeah. what are you driving what 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 it's division a bunch of different things yeah yeah so so i'm driving um right now uh currently i'm driving in the california lightning sprints um here in california um uh, and so yeah just kind of racing up and down the state um and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, what I love to do. I, so, so that's what I'm doing currently, um, in the past, you know, I, I started off in go-karts, um, uh, and then kind of just moved up in the, in the dirt stuff. And then I actually raced a little, little asphalt at, uh, Irwindale Speedway, uh, race there. And then, and then just kind of, you know, decided to go back to my roots at a uh, dirt, dirt mm. track racing. So, yep. Tell just me, your, tell me, Hey, tell me Irwindale didn't make your eyes get real big. I, oh, I, I love, I've got a spot in my heart for Irwindale. I, I worked there. I was actually a, uh, a track worker there. Ah. So I worked, I worked on the days I wasn't racing. I was working at like the drag strip and, okay. and, um, yeah, that's, that's where I, you know, that's where partially where I developed, you know, my, uh, my love for racing, but yeah. And a lot of people don't realize Irwindale is, I call it the, the Paris auto speedway of asphalt. You know, yeah, because it yeah. is yeah. fast. Would you compare yeah, the two? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Irwindale's a, a half mile as well, and it's it's banked pretty well. And and I tell you what, you watch the, like the the Arca cars or the super late models there. You know, those I I I have I hold the super late models and the uh, the sprint cars. You know, I I I hold those at equal levels. You know, those, yeah, those are those two awesome series. And um, yeah, I mean, I I honestly like like just started racing go-karts and um just it, it wasn't like a you know like a hey you know my dad was never like hey you're going to be a race car driver son you know mm -hmm. it was just a fun it was just a fun fun thing to do like i'm just i'm just kind of like a, like a normal guy that, that I, and i'm just i just love love racing um and so yeah i mean i i can remember like being at paris and the fans and watching in the in the stands and and, and um watching the sprint cars go and and and, and just really realizing how awesome it is you know yeah well you should see the family that's sitting in the room right now they're called the baldwins there's yeah. a girl yeah. a boy a boy and a girl well she's not racing yeah. so he's got yeah. how, how many cars are you campaigning now pops well they have three and i have two okay so dad has two and the kids have three and they're all winners oh, right on. and they're all winners right on <laughs> I mean, his 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 garage looks like a used car lot for race cars. <laughs> Pretty much. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's awesome. So, so happy. I, well, now you've done more than lightning sprints. What else have you been in? So I've been in a, 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 the lightning sprint this year, and then I've been in. Uh, so at Irwindale, yeah. it was a. Uh, it, they were called super trucks or just Irwindale oh, yeah. race trucks. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, basically, those are just uh, you know tube chassis, kind of like stock car, just in the in the. Uh, you know the body. The bodywork looks like a, a truck, basically, right. um, and it's a 602 crate motor um, sealed, and it was it was a lot of fun. So I think my first year, I uh, I got I got rookie of the year, um, and then I got second in the championship. Um, and the car was you no, know, the the truck we had wasn't like the wasn't the greatest. Um, 
you know, the, the shocks were outdated. The motor was a little outdated. So we figured, all right, we updated the motor. Um, and then we, uh, you know, we got new shocks for it and we didn't, we didn't have the trajectory trajectory. We thought we would have had that next year. I, I raced in it and, and we, it just took a lot of, a lot more testing and stuff to figure out, you know, right. to get everything tuned up. Uh, but I think the next year I, I forget where I got in points, but I, I didn't do as good the second year I raced there as I did the first year. So but, back to the dirt. Was, so back to the yeah. dirt. We like dirt. Hey, Bi- dirt. Billy had yeah. a question. Are those like a lot like the ASA speed trucks? Yes, they are. Yeah, they're they're pretty much. I know there's like a few series that like I could take that truck to uh, in the in the area. So I I believe so. Yeah. Why, yeah. Billy? Did you want to drive a truck? No. Oh, I'm not. I'm not a truck guy. If somebody handed you a steering yeah. wheel, you'd be out there so fast. I, I would. So would all his kids. I did. Yeah, and all your kids would <laughs> all be, be. All his kids are trying to get the car he's driving now. So it's his just his daughter's getting to it first. Yeah, do. not according to <laughs> this guy. Uh-huh. Yeah, and again, check it out. The boys. One boy is Cage, and the other one's Cam. Okay, Gage. Yeah, Gage. And you know, Cam. like a roll, like, like the steel. Uh, measurements right of a is pipe that on purpose and cam is for a camshaft right there's a story behind it. Oh. see it's i know there's a story yeah. well <laughs> and you and all you okay so i have to i, I gotta That's ask you will funny. what's your nickname yeah. you must have a track nickname uh yeah well my my nickname i yeah. i actually it's a pretty new nickname i was it was given to me uh actually i wasn't even racing i was i was uh helping out my little brother he's racing go-kart uh someone come up come up to me my good my good friend uh doug bushy he said hey Hey, it's the will deal. So that's that's the, that's the will, will deal. The only reason I say that is because Brittany has scheduled how many drivers, motorcycles, and cars in oh, a row that all have different names. Oh my gosh, names yeah. like and we always like to ask. So ask your question: What number car and color scheme? Yeah. Significance. Oh yeah, the significance. What number are you? So I am. I'm the number eight. I've always been the number eight. Um, and and fun fact actually about that. Um, so throughout my racing, I've been, it's, it's been some variation of eight in the last two years, I've been the number eight. Um, and so we, we purchased, uh, this California, this lightning sprint, um, from out in Colorado and we were just looking around, we just figured, Hey, this is one we're going to get. So we got it. Um, and I didn't realize until about a week ago, the model or the, uh, the part number on that chassis is 008. Awesome. So it was awesome. The, it was the eighth chassis made and like that that was uh it was i was like oh my gosh like and, and now now it sucks because we're never going to sell the thing you know? <laughs> 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 yeah. hang it from the garage yeah. just and, hang it from the yeah, ceiling yeah. in the green room we yeah. were all talking about the significance of our numbers well and you know it's funny yeah. i have a buddy of mine that races uh, you know randy waitman and every time he finishes a car he takes a steering wheel off and he puts a, a monitor in it and makes it a simulator and takes oh. it. There you go. Yeah, yeah, but it, yeah. As, and he's never had to lose any of his race cars. They're all simulators, and he takes them to different events, and you know the kids get in it, and you know they can he can do any track you want. So that'd be something you can think about doing with old number eight. Yeah, absolutely. And and um, I gotta say, you know, I've learned probably as much on the simulator. You know, I've got my own iRacing, racing, you know, uh-huh. racing rig that I do. Just you know, just the basic. Um, I gotta say, I've learned probably as much on there as I have in in the real race cars because. Um, just it it allows for so much seat time and like you think you think I'm sponsored by like the i racing or whatever but no I, I just it's just such a good idea for young racers. Okay, um, so let me ask you a question. First, I'm going to ask Billy. Have you ever done i racing or ever done a simulator? On yes. It? What do you think? I, I like it. The tires are cheaper and so I the know. fuel. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, I, I, I dig it. Does it I, make you a better driver on the track? I, I believe it does. Yes. So yeah. you believe the same thing, Will? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like like for guys like me, you know, I. I I started pretty late compared to some people. You know, I mean, 13 years old was not. You know, this kid's doing it at, at like six, but like right. for me, that's a little. It's a little late if mm-hmm. I want to be like a you know a top dog, you know, racer, which I'm trying to be. You know, that's oh. always, always the goal is to be a big, a big, big time guy. I'm still, you know, obviously not, you know, not not there yet. But yeah, it allows me to get so much more seat time. I mean, I would sit on that thing and just practice all day long, and I can. I it, it is you know it it has helped me where, you know, I don't mm-hmm. get in the car and I'm trying to learn how to drive. I already kind of learned on the, on the simulator to right. a certain extent. So when you but, get to the track, it's at least more familiar than it was if you hadn't done the iRacing. Yeah. Well, and, and Irwindale Speedway is actually on there. And so when I oh, first got there, yeah, it was, 
it was like familiar to me. Like I had feel like I had, uh-huh. had driven on on it before, which is crazy. So where do you want to go, dirt or asphalt? You, what do you uh, want to stay? I'm going to be a dirt guy. Yeah, uh, right. dirt. Dirt's my deal. I'm. I'm. Uh, I, I want to be. I want to race the uh, the big cars. I want to race the sprint cars. So uh, well, Billy so, just raised yeah. his hand. Well, I was just going to say on those i racing things, they need to add like things like our water guy Bardo. He completely right. like floods the track. But you have time. to set up your car first. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Though you have to get like <laughs> on the grid, and then Bardo comes out on the track and, and just hard. destroys well, it. He, I and the love guy, it, Billy. And, and and honestly, though, the guy can't do anything right yeah. because half the time it's too hot. You're chasing the track. I mean, just like the track owners say, we're out there. We're hours and hours and hours prepping this. Thing. Yeah, yeah. And it's too hot, and it blows it off, and the wind blows it and off. Then and then Bardo comes in, and, and you know, bless his heart. If he if he waters it too much, they bitch. I'm yeah, sorry. That's okay. And if they water it, not correct, enough. Correct. Yeah. It's it's yeah. he's constantly chasing Thankless. stuff. But yeah. I, I think they should add those in those video games Absolutely. because that's 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 something that I deal with. Yeah. yeah. You know, and On so do the dirt, kids. If you don't believe me, track. ask the kids. Well, wouldn't Absolutely. that hey, will, will isn't dress. there some way you yeah. could program that in? You yeah. know, as far as track <laughs> conditions. Oh yeah, actually, I'm 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 sure you could adjust it a little bit and make it make it to where it's a little greasy or a little little dry slick. Someone's I'm got sure an oil I'm leak. Sure do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we yeah. got another. We got one more question for you. You didn't know it was going to be a question and answer, <laughs> did you? <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, hey, I'm I'm good with whatever. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. prepared. Gage. It's oh. a, the same thing on the little track too. They're way too oh. hot, way too dry, oh. or way too um. Too wet. Wet. Yeah. Or it's really, really tacky. And that's dirt like that. tracking, man. That's part well, of it. And that, and I think that's what makes... And, and if you'll notice, if you and I have a sneaky feeling you plan to move up and stay within dirt, but kind of Tony Stewart it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, yeah. yeah. Well, let me tell you a cute story because you probably didn't hear this, but we were talking to a, a racer. I think he's from your neck of the woods, A.J. Bender. And he was out at uh, Ventura. You know, just hot rodding around one of those year. little sprint cars. Mm-hmm. And Cruz Pendragon, which is a top fuel uh, NHRA funny car driver, went down after the pits and got him a ride at the Chili Bowl. Oh, that's cool. Can you imagine that? Will. Oh, yeah. That, that's, oh, yeah. I didn't know if you're talking to me yet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's awesome. I was at. <laughs> I was at the Turkey Bowl when he was uh, oh. or the, the, uh, at Ventura oh. on that race. Well, I was and, there watching it. Yes. Yeah. It was awesome. All right. How do, cool. pe- hey, how do people follow you around? Um, so you can follow me on, on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is willbrown underscore. Okay. And, um, that's, and that's B-R-O-W-N-E? Yeah, there's an E at the end. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I hope you get yourself a seat in a sprint car yep. someday sooner than hey. later. One day, you know, I think I have some work to do in this lightning sprint, though. Mm-hmm. I think, well, you know, once I'm, if I could do good in that, you know, I think that, uh, the, you know, the opportunities may or may not present itself. So it, it's on, it's in my park, you know, it's in my, my hands. <laughs> well, I'm sure the crew chief will tell you exactly when you're ready. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, buddy. Thanks a million for calling in. I'll get this yeah. interview up to you, and Scott will uh, send it to you. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much. All right, well, thank you. All right, we're going to take okay. a quick break. When we get back, oh, you're listening to Racer Radio, FM 961. The answer. Bye. <laughs>